Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard. I'm going to talk to you today about a new report released in the Journal of Clinical Practice that talks about the thyroid stimulating hormone test, the TSH test. And this report claims that this test is flawed. This test, the TSH test, was released in 1971 by the Mayo Clinic as the gold standard for thyroid screening. You go to the doctor, you have some thyroid you know, uh, symptoms, you're tired, you're lethargic, you can't lose weight. Doctor takes your TSH, it goes into normal levels, and then the doctor says your thyroid is normal, there's nothing to worry about. This report shows that many folks who actually have a normal TSH actually have an abnormal thyroid or a problem with their thyroid. And many people who have TSH that's out of the range actually may have normal thyroid. So the bottom line is many people may be, be treated or untreated as a result of this TSH screening test. The real problem here is that as a result of that screening test, which was the gold standard, doctors stopped asking patients the questions about their thyroid. They just went by the blood test. And that was a mistake. And doctors are now beginning to start to really ask questions and make darn sure the thyroid is treated even if the TSH levels are in the normal range. Uh, so it's very, very important. Now, there are many home screening tests doctors used to do years ago. The first one, very simple, is an axillary temperature test. You get a thermometer first thing in the morning before getting out of bed. Put it under your armpit and take your temperature every morning for five days. Get an average. That average should be greater than 97 degrees. If it's greater than 97 degrees, your basal metabolic temperature is normal. If it's lower than that, that may be related to a thyroid symptom. Take my thyroid questionnaire. It's in the article associated with this video. Take the questionnaire. See if you have you know, an array of thyroid symptoms like you know, gaining weight, dry skin, losing your hair, can't concentrate, can't focus. Many of these symptoms that we have that are very common can be related to a subclinical undetected thyroid condition. If you have those things, go to your doctor and get a, a test, all the tests, but in addition, ask for what test called the reverse T3. The reverse T3 is the reverse of the T3. T3 is the active hormone, a thyroid hormone. The reverse T3 is the opposite of that. It actually slows your thyroid. And when that gets high, then it can actually create a hypothyroid or a sluggish thyroid condition. So have a reverse T3 test done. Many of the thyroid experts believe that this is a test that really needs to be done because many of these chronic undetected thyroid problems are, are found with this reverse T3 test. In addition, these experts believe that the reverse T3 is very commonly caused by heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metal toxicity is very prevalent when in the, and definitely has, may have something to do with iodine levels. The World Health Organization claims that 72% of the world is deficient in iodine. Iodine protects us from these heavy metal toxins and the exposure on the thyroid. So you may have a heavy metal issue. So think about getting a heavy metal test done or look into an oral chelation program that can actually chelate the heavy metals out of your thyroid. Thyroid is a very vulnerable organ to our environmental toxicity. Please have that checked have the reverse T3 checked, check your basal metabolic temperature, do the thyroid test in the article associated with the video, and make darn sure you're not, you're not functioning you know, uh, under par because you have a thyroid condition that has been untreated and undetected. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.